This is July 17th, and this is me. I uh, just primered the uh, carburetor with some gas. The engine running with some primer gas. So pour a little bit more in there. This is just so people. I can put this on YouTube, and people can see that it does start up and run. It just needs a few things. So, is that old style fuel pump right there? Needs an electric fuel pump put on it. But that was something I'd have to go with the next buyer. So, push button switch I got hooked up. Since I'm taking this picture here, might as well do a walk around. There's a little bit of a leak in this hose line right here. Just needs a new piece of hose there. Needs tires. These are 14s. This is the inside where I'm working on it. The windshield wiper motor, it works. That's the interior capacity. There's a little fan here which could probably be wired up again. This is a root vent. It works like that. You can adjust it however you want it. So it has two side vents down there. This is a template I made of the wheels so you can uh, take the junkyards and look for a spare. This is some of the old brake shoes I took off. This is two sets of new brake shoes that go with it. And, uh, Two uh, wheel cylinders, new windshield wipers, various other stuff in here. That's the original uh, mirror that goes on there. Okay, that's still good. Oh, it's one of the old wheel cylinders. I was going to put new brake lines on it. They're easier to put on before you install those. This is where I'm working on the uh, ignition switch. There's the original ignition switch, which I found the key for. So, somebody had already cut the wire harness on it, and I got it, so that's why it's wired up like this and not with the plug switches that are also in here. I was lucky I found it. Let me know where the wires are. And this is basically everything. The fuse box up in there. Not much to it. And the steering column, it just bolts up with four bolts.